Hello people on the internet. This is something called a vlog. Yes, I will attempt to make a vlog. Aren't you surprised? Why are you in the kitchen? Because I'm going to start in the kitchen and then we're going to my room. I don't know why. I want to talk about the butterfly thing. Is that okay? Turn your hat around. Why? The lighting's bad on your face. I think it's fine. YouTube won't. Ah! It's on my ponytail! Stop it! <laughs> Pulling my. Look at my new hat I got. Guess where I got my hat? No, not Target. You are lame. <laughs> and this, I'm confused. I'm, I let Taylor slide on. I was scavenging there. Yeah. You want to see Haley's room? Yeah. That's Haley's room. My room is worse. And okay, why is my room so cold and the hallway is so warm? Okay, I'm not. I don't like doing it this way. Yeah, let's, let's turn the thing. I keep looking at that. And so look at this, Haley told me. So look at this. This right here. Anyway, so the butterfly thing. Ah, Corey Williams, S&P Films, Mr. Safety. He said in one of his Do Like Hella um, vlogs, he listed 10 things he'd rather be doing than writing a description for the YouTube video. One of the things was to fill Kate's... Ah, fill Kate's house with butterflies. He said it wouldn't be fun for the butterflies, but shut up, Miley Cyrus. I have the volume low, so you guys should not be able to hear it, but I don't want to hear Miley Cyrus. I can hear it. You can't. Hopefully, if I'm doing this right. What's the vote? Okay, you should not be able to. I don't like this song either. <sighs> well, I never heard. I never hear her music. Kalobi, Kalobi, Carol, Carolet, Carolet. Sorry, that. Christmas spelling and grammar and speech problems. Um. There's a guy on YouTube, he has a lisp. He's totally epic. Um, okay, I was talking to you about the butterflies. So yeah. Um, I said on his on the vlog that I read his description and that I'm going that if my parents will allow me, I will send a bunch of butterflies to him so that he can fill Kate's house with butterflies. Because then, since the butterflies are fake, it's fun for everybody. So yeah, me and Haley are going to make these origami butterflies. I'm going to show you some that I've made before in the past on my art wall of art. That's my first one. Um, I then made that one, that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Um, I'm going to be sending him ones like these with the points. I have no idea what's up with the paper. Because, hold on, I made one in art class. Ignore my junk. I have lots of stuff in my room. I made one in art class using origami paper. And it's bigger than those. Hold on, this is zoom. And I'm confused by it. Because the paper was the same size. Oh well. But yeah, I actually got crazy when I learned how to do those. And here's some disembodied wings right here and like yeah I think I might send him some of these but no I don't, I don't think they go rainbow civic bird yeah. um what was I saying oh yeah and Haley's gonna make these small tiny butterflies that you that you make with one piece of paper the ones over there and there and there, you make with two pieces of paper. Um, I'm new to this vlog thing. <laughs> I don't, like, maybe I should find a different view. Yeah, that's a perfect angle. Yeah, I like this angle. Wait, do I? 
is this turn to thing. Uh, I'm looking at it again. Um, yeah, I like the angle. Turn. Yeah, I like the angle. I think. But my arm does not. Ah. Um, so yeah. And then on one piece, one butterfly, we're going to send the instructions to make the big ones and the small ones. This will be one of the wings, and then Haley's going to write on the other wing how to make one of the smaller butterflies. And then I thought it'd be funny to for either Kate to film him looking for the butterfly with the instructions on it, or just the thought of him scrambling through all these butterflies we're going to send him looking for the one with the instructions on it. We're also going to send him a letter where I'm going to write part of it, Haley's going to write another part. It's like... I'm going to, we're going to find two pens, because my color is orange, Haley's color is purple. I sometimes use blue. I'll use blue if we can't find purple. I mean, orange. We could just use, oh, red and blue. Red and blue. I'm on the blue team. If you get that, you will win. Um, yeah, but we're going to use orange and purple pens. The part that's I the parts that I write I write in orange. Parts that he, the the Haley writes will be in purple. We're going to send a letter explaining why we sent him these butterflies, and it's okay if he doesn't use them to fill Kate's house up because I don't think we're going to be able to make enough to send him. We're going to fill a box. I'm going to get one of those postal service boxes that you know the commercials they say if it fits it ships. Yeah, we're going to take one of those and just fill it up with butterflies. Ooh, pumped up kicks. A lot faster to people. Just in case. Hey, Haley. Guess what? Copyrighted music. <laughs> um, hmm. I wanted to tell you about the butterfly thing, because we're doing it. We are doing it. I use copy paper for the um, butterflies I make. I think I might use line paper if I run out of copy paper, which I will because that's not enough. Um, huh. I am bored. Yeah, I just burped. Um, phone. Boring. Yo yo. I like yo-yos. I'm at that transition. Oh, by the way, we have my job on This Is Random is to film sometimes and to get a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot of transitions or like videos that last 15 seconds or, or less that Haley uses with other videos as a transition. Like if one, the grocery store one, I'm not sure if she used any of them. I haven't watched any of our videos in a while. Actually, I think the only video I've ever s I know I watched the... Okay, let's just say I don't watch our videos a lot. Because I usually watch them while they're still on the camera. I usually tap the camera. And then Haley edits them and I don't really care. Because she can do whatever she wants. Because that's her job. Um, What was I talking about? Kids with the pumped up kicks, you better run. Focus! Focus, you were talking about something. Um. Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was talking about. So, Halloween! Um. Our Halloween video, I don't want to give out any, um, like, spoilers, but we need you guys to ask us questions. Halloween-themed questions, like, where are we for Halloween, or what's our favorite Halloween candy, or how many years did we go trick-or-treating, or things like that. Not anything Halloween-related. Haunted houses, the color orange, ghosts and ghouls and stuff like that, and... By the way, Halloween is an Irish holiday. Look it up. 
That's right. I'm part Irish. My my forefathers. I don't like that word. What are they talking about? You keep making me forget. Ooh, my TV looks weird on camera. You keep making me forget. Um. Excuse me. Shut up! Yes, I'm filming it. If this video gets flagged or banned, okay then. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, Halloween. It's Iris. Ancestors. Yeah, that's the word I want to use. Ancestors. My ancestors brought Halloween to America, and then Americans and everybody else here changed it. Screwed it up. Halloween in Old Iris translates into Holy Night. In your face, all you people are like, Halloween is Devil's Night. I don't worship, de I don't worship the devil, so I don't celebrate Halloween, because I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian, too. So, yeah. So... You and your belief that Halloween is all about devils and Satan and stuff like that, you can go walk off a cliff into a mattress mattress factory because I don't want you dead. That would be messed up. But yeah, you can just walk off a cliff. Like aimlessly walking off a cliff. Yeah, like that. Um Ow, my leg hurts now. <laughs> I don't do that no more. Um what was I saying? But yeah, Halloween is an Irish holiday. Halloween translates into Holy Night in Old English. Old, no, it's Old Irish. Not a lot of people believe me until they look it up and they shut up! Oh my gosh. Alternative. What's on Kids Only? Yes, I listen to Kids Only. And that is Party. I was just there. Kids Only. Jesse McCartney! Although I hate this song. Stage and screen, yeah. He listens to this a lot. Signing stuff for you to see. <laughs> okay, even if it's from the High My Time movie, I don't care. Um. Ooh! What was I saying? Oh, I'm not sure if I said this or not, but we need you to ask questions so that we can answer them for a Halloween video. The Halloween video is more than just us answering questions, trust me. At least it should be. Um, I'm bored again. Um... Yes, red rings. I have a puppet that, hold on, she's being used as a hat rack. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Look at my penguin. Penguin puppet. Hello. Who wears a red rings jersey? Yeah, penguin in a red rings jersey. Only hockey players, hockey fans would get this. And if you are a hockey fan and you don't get this, I am very disappointed in you. you know, forget it. There's a team called the Penguins. The Penguins and the Wings, we don't like each other. But this is one smart penguin. Yeah. Um, I'm bored again. Put that back. I'd, I'd show you my hats, but... That's a, this is random thing. You guys can't look at my hats. Um. Uh, I'm going to be a real nerd right now. And show you my awesome Yu-Gi-Oh poster! Yay! 
I, my dad, um, me, him, and my sister. There's this place in Detroit. I forget. I'm in Detroit, by the way. Detroit! Um, Detroit, Michigan. Ha! Wolverine State. Um, there's this place that we call Romel's. You might have been there if you go, if you travel around Detroit a lot. Anyway, he used to have these awesome posters. Whenever we, whenever Dad would go there to get Pop or whatever, he just let us roam around the store. Romel knew us very well. Um, he's like an uncle. Um, anyway, and I would always look at the posters. They never had anything I liked, and now that I think about it, they actually had a lot of naked people. <laughs> I'm glad I was like really, 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 really little, and I didn't know what a naked person was. I didn't like them, though. That, that was a good sign. That was a very good sign. Anyway, one day I go in, and I see this Yu-Gi-Oh poster! I saw that, and I squealed. And Joey's my favorite character. He's still my favorite. Speaking of Joey, I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Tournament 2004, I think, for the Game Boy Advance. How do you unlock Joey? I know you get the Jinjo. I know you have a Jinjo in your box, but not in your deck. Which booster pack has Joey in it? Has just has the Jinjo in it? Cause like. One site said, oh, you defeat Weevil ten times and his booster pack has Jinjo in it. I defeated Weevil, no booster pack. And then another one said, oh, you defeat Pegasus ten times and he has the Jinjo booster pack. His booster pack had some sort of fiend guy king on it. I got it when I first opened the pack. But no Jinjo and I'm just confused. I can't move on into the game until I get Joey. I don't really care. I just want Joey. Joey, 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 Joey. I'm a Joey fangirl. Anyway. Joey is my favorite character, and then Yami Yugi and Yugi are second favorite. I consider them one. Summon Skull, I don't really like. The Time Wizard was was my favorite monster, and then I and then I liked Red Eyes. And that actually me liking Time Wizard and Red Eyes got me into being a Joey fan. But I still play Yu-Gi-Oh. I go for the old school. I don't understand the new Yu-Gi-Oh's. I don't really care for them. In fact, I don't even want to watch the new thing they have on for kids. I must. Did you? Is it aired yet? Um, I was on this Yu-Gi-Oh site, and there was an ad advertising new Yu-Gi-Oh series that said it was going to be on Saturday on for kids. Check your local listings. And there was this guy, I'm guessing he's a star, and his, this and I'm guessing a duel monster. He was doing one pose, and the duel monster was doing the exact same pose, except like, opposite, like, um, what do I mean by that? Um, mirrored. The duel monster mirrored his, um, that, that kid on the ad, and I'm like, what is this? I wanted to click the ad, but, um, when I did, Norton said there was a virus block blocked when I moused over it so I was like okay no has it no click that um and yes you weren't saying sayings I have a pair of bat wings hanging from my Yu-Gi-Oh poster I did not put that tack there I will assure you my mom put the tack there thinking oh hey it's just a Yu-Gi-Oh poster it's not like they don't make them anymore and I'm so upset when I fr when my dad bought it, the glass broke somehow and scratched up the poster, and I'm like, "Oh, can we replace the glass, Daddy?" And he was like, "He was like, when I get money, honey. When I get money, Heather." He said, "Honey and Heather," and he also called me killer. When I get and we've had money. It's, I'm 16 now. I'm pretty sure we got this when I was either four or five. Um. But it's only been my in the room for two years. It's been in the hall closet because I didn't want to do anything with it because the glass was all broken and stuff. Okay, maybe not two years. When we got the room, because me and, this used to be my mom and dad's room, and then they moved out and gave it to me and Haley. But then Haley moved out and woo! I had to reorganize my room. Ignore the mess. 
Ignore the mess, but look at my size. Yes. Um, I'm exceeding 20 minutes. Um, oh hey! Guess what? Guess what? I'm not gonna say it though. Cause you also guessed. Uh, my dragon. I did in art class. My circle I did in art class. My red wing symbol, which I did not do in art class, I just did on my own because it was fun. Uh, parts, my Lego wolf, I love him. Technically, he's a Mega Bloks wolf, but he has Lego parts for some reason. Um, I can't remember that Bionicles name, but oh, speaking of my Bionicles, I'm so ticked off at myself. Um, there was a contest to make um. Your ultimate Bionicle character from all your Bionicle sets. I did it. Made a pretty cool kicking um Bionicle, but then I never entered. I made him and I never entered. And I'm angry at myself because okay. I got him after that. And I also got him after that. And there was, there's a Bionicle behind the curtain that I got before the contest, but actually lost. So he never got, like, taken apart. There's also one in the living room that I got, and I thought I lost. But the point is, my first ever Bionicle, my second Bionicle, my third Bionicle, um, I skipped a couple Bionicle stories and got a fourth Bionicle. And then, um... Oh, the scorpion guy up there. I got him after this event occurred. And those Bionicles, I deemed the greatest Bionicles I've ever had. I took them apart. The parts I did not end up losing, using, ended up lost. Because this guy, he doesn't have the majority of his parts. If you have one of these, you know what he's missing. Um, my first ever Bionicle was a gift from my friend Latoria. He's right there. She actually got me into Bionicles and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I... Latoria! I can't remember your last name. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. Um, no, not really. But just like, I hate it when I can't remember my friend's names. Um, but yeah, his arm is gone. Well, his blade. He also doesn't have that thing... Cause he was one of the he was one of the first originals, I guess. I don't know. He you pulled the thing on his back and something spun off. But yeah, he lost his um my blue scorpion. Hello Katik. My Neopets account is M O M nineteen ninety five five seven seven eight because the one without the eight got hacked. And I'm sorry. No, you did not see my hats. SHUT UP! Okay. Let me break up, we kiss, we make. Copyright music. Anyway, my account got hacked and I'm ticked off because it had all this awesome, cool, yo stuff. Anyway, here's my scorpion guy. I forget what see what series he was in. Um, he lost his back piece. I think that's all that he's missing. And mom actually made me get rid of those things. Oh yeah, and his thing that when you pulled it back, it, it shot the thing. Cause no, it did not go like that. Cause I can't screw that in a different way. Um, yeah. I don't like vlogging. I don't like it. I like showing you guys my stuff, but I don't think I like vlogging. Not really me. But yeah, I lost those Bionicles parts completely. Lost. Mom probably threw them out. That's how I lost a lot of my Lego pieces. Um. Hmm. Actually, a lot of them have parts from the others, and I named four Bionicles. Notice how I could only show you. Notice how I only showed you three. The fourth one, 
he had like yellow armor that I took I took him apart he had yellow armor I couldn't find his instruction manual so I can't put him back together I hate my younger self she screwed up my life she really did Cause I can't find the parts, I can't find the instruction manuals, and she caused all of this. Oh snap, it was zoomed in. What were you guys looking at? Like, this or something? That was... That was precarious. And would you... You know, I'm ending the thing, because I can't find any good music. Um, goodbye. <laughs>